What's up guys, how's it going? Mike and Tech here, and I'm here with the Aper Scuba X1. We actually met Aper at CES this year. Let me move this out of the way a bit so I can talk to you. Um, we met them at CES this year, and it was an absolute blast, and they unveiled their Scuba Series X1 Pro, and I wanted to try out some of their products as well, so we have an Aper pool cleaner here. I am super excited to try this out, and uh, let's see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna open the top here. Again, this is a large, heavy package, so I'm gonna be real careful with it. I just hit my mic. <laughs> and here it is, the Aper Scuba X1. Check this out. It has intelligent pathfinding to ensure 100% uh, cleaning area to make sure it gets your entire pool has ultrasonic sensors for obstacle avoidance and a replaceable micro mesh filter. It can clean sand, gravel, leaves, and it works for uh, pools that are made, uh, or I guess the pool walls are made of vinyl, concrete, fiberglass, mosaic tiles, and it works for any shaped pool. So rectangle, round, kidney, or custom shaped pools that can navigate any type. And on this side here, we have this very, very nice visual of what the pool cleaner looks like in a real location. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and you know start setting things up before we actually take it out to the water so we're gonna get rid of some of this debris and we've got the quick start guide which i will put right here that's gonna get you started on uh, using the app setting it up all that good stuff then we've got the instruction manuals and uh, other quick start guides here as well with how to contact um, the company should you need assistance. I'm gonna put the box down so you can see me a little better um, and probably hear me a little better without the box being in the way. And we have a smaller box here. Let's see what this is. I do believe this might be the charging station. So let's go ahead and pull this out here. They have a really nice black Aper logo there. Clean looking guys. Go ahead and take these sides out. And the second one. And now we're basically going to just snap these in so you're gonna grab this one here and snap and then this one the same way we'll just snap it in and you can see it has a nice grip on the bottom to make sure it isn't going anywhere right here and right here and this is where your Aper Scuba X1 is going to stand and charge now we have some accessories here we have the charger itself which goes to the back of the Scuba X1. And we have a hook that can attach to any telescoping pole. That way, uh, if you need to, you can drop this down underwater and pull up the Scuba X1. Now, let's see what else is in the box. A much smaller, but still very large box. We're gonna open this one up. Oh, that opens up very nicely. We've got a smaller package here. We'll open that in just a moment. And I'll pull the bot out now. And here it is with the pool right there quick little pull in the back and obviously we have more to open here but just take a look at how nice this looks also don't tempt me guys i've been working to make a battle bot for a little bit i've always wanted to this is a this is a little close for comfort if i do say so myself no i'm just kidding if we look at this device here we can see that it is not only streamlined and very very easy to move around it has a handle here to uh, pick it up and it has a camera right here that can actually detect uh, objects in front of it and everything as well. So that's really, really cool. Now to charge it, if we turn this around, we can see in the back there's a power port here that's covered so that it stays waterproof and you just pull that off and you can plug the charger in to the back right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, and we have a charging dock here that just slides in. Uh, just like this and you're good to go. It has two contacts here to uh, determine when it's connected And if we take a look at the bottom here, you'll see the two contacts that are used to make contact here So I'll go ahead and place this on the stand so you can see what it looks like all set up and yeah Really cool technology and uh, we're gonna go take this out to the water and test it out What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and I'm here with this Aper Scuba X1. This has a maximum cleaning area of 2,150 square feet, as well as a suction power of 6,600 gallons per hour. Now, I wanna go ahead and try this out. Uh, one of the first things I wanna try with this is a new feature, the wall cleaning feature. Uh, this is actually gonna go up to the water line and clean up the wall, so we're gonna try that out first, because that's not normally something that gets uh, cleaned by traditional pool cleaners. So. All we're gonna do is turn on the device and we're gonna actually get to choose what kind of cleaning mode we'd like. 
We have wall line, which is going to go up and clean the tops of the walls. We have wall, which is going to be uh, the entire wall. We have floor, which is the entire floor. And there's also a uh, smart, which is the entire pool based on how much battery is left. So very cool functionality. We're going to try out the water line today and see what it's like. So all we're going to do is choose water line and then uh, drop this in. And in a few seconds, you're going to see the engines kick in and the device is going to drop down and uh, then go up to the edge of the wall. Yeah, so we could see it here. It's actually um, using the engines to push it towards the wall and then it's using the tracks to actually uh, pull itself up uh, while it's also having the independent uh, motors spinning those cleaners as well. So we have a nice shot of it here actually cleaning the water line, which is one of their new features. Uh, let's get a nice underwater shot and uh, show what this looks like. So... Uh, very cool device it's able to uh, navigate those stairs just fine as well it was able to go up and down the stairs it's not rated for cleaning stairs because it's a little too wide um, but it is able to go up and down the stairs and map it just fine so that was nice to see all right so not only can this clean 6600 gallons per hour but it has four independent pvc rollers on the bottom which will actually work to clean the pool walls themselves uh, loosening up that dirt and grime for the filter which is great to see it has waveline technology, which is going to let it clean above the water line. It has OmniSense DTOF sensor, which allows it to de detect obstacles in the pool. Uh, the waveline technology allows it to accurately map your pool as it's going along, designing a path that'll work best for it. So if it has very little battery, it'll create a faster path through the pool. But if it has a lot of battery, it'll actually take its time and do a longer, slower clean, knowing it can get to the rest of your pool without dying, which is pretty cool. Uh, now the app itself does have, uh, or it gives you a lot of options to actually check up on the device. It can actually tell you not only information about the water quality, but also the quality of parts inside. Uh, because it does have a filter that will eventually need to be replaced and things like that. It will even tell you the wear on the treads themselves. So if they ever need to be replaced, you can do that as well. Uh, now to clean this, it's actually really, really easy. Uh, all you do is pull this off. And you're going to see that there's a pull-out little case here, and this is the filter. And if I press on this button right here, you'll see that it uh, opens up, and we've already got some gunk in it, which is nice to see. If I pull this top filter out, this is actually optional. So if you have a lot of dirt and grime or debris, uh, you aren't going to want to use this one. You'll actually want to use the basket itself. Uh, if you don't, then you're going to want to use this uh, extra filter, and that's going to let you get rid of all the small dust particles and get that water extra clean. So we can tell that this is already doing its job, which is great. And if uh, the Scuba X1 ever gets stuck in the pool or something or runs out of battery, it has a hook that you can connect to a telescoping rod and just simply hook it under here and pull it right on out. So they do give you the hook. They don't give you the telescop telescoping rod, of course, because that'd be a little too big for the box, but most pools are gonna have one anyway. Uh, they do give you the attachment so they can easily uh, pick up and pull this out if needed. But like I showed you in the video, it does actually climb the walls of the pool, so it's very easy to just kind of grab when it's on the edge and pull it out. But yeah, that's it for this one. This is the Aper Scuba X1. Uh, thank you so much to Aper for sending this out, and thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. And, uh, Games to end up used with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?